Hello everyone and welcome to Build Up. Today we're looking over set number 70787, Tahu, Master of Fire. Set contains approximately 89 pieces and at time of release was about $20. It was released in early 2015. Well, I'm sure this has been long awaited for many Tahu fans. The one, the only Omega Tahu, as many have referred to him. Thanks, Ven. Well, as we can see here, we have a lot of red, we have a lot of gold. Let's go over some of the recolors. Or, not recolors. I don't believe this is new in this color. I believe we've gotten this before. However, I may be wrong about it. It's nice to see we get three of those. We get four of these, and I don't think these are new either. But they're always nice to see. These are actually not new either. We've actually seen them in many other places, specifically Ninjago. And these are really pretty, very nice to see those here. And that's it. Pretty much covers all the recolors. I think this is new in gold though. I may be wrong, it is printed. It's not a sticker. But I may be wrong about it being new in gold. However, that's not the most interesting part about all of this. The most interesting part are the new pieces, specifically these. The new piston add-ons in gold, which is incredibly great to see. Really like the design, very biomechanically. We have the new gearbox piece, which is ingenious and adds a new level of building to the CCBS design. We have the new head design with blue eyes. Excellent to see that. I like the, the variety. Along with the new head, we get the new masks. We have the skull spider in this bright spring green, which is really nice. It's very creepy looking, especially on camera. I don't know if these are new pieces. I don't think they're new pieces, but they're very useful pieces, so I like those. We also have the new claw pieces for the skull spider. We have two new masks. The new mask of fire in bright matte red and gold. And this design, initially, if you see it compared to the old How, you're going to be a little bit opposed to it, but it does grow on you very nicely. And I think finally we have the new blade pieces. Now this is huge, and it's definitely going to invoke some Toa Lee Khan vibes for those of who were a fan of the old series. Incredibly large blade gap here for some fire pieces or some customization. About three axles and four pinholes, so you have a lot of access and connection points. It's really nice to see this blade. It's great. That pretty much covers everything, I believe. I'm sure I've missed something, I've gotten something wrong. But we have a lot of pieces here, about 89 of them, give or take. And we're going to go and build everything. So let's start. There we go with the Skull Spider, menacing as per usual. We'll review that later. All right, and there we have it, the finished gearbox. As we can see, this is a very involved build. We have the double ball joints up here. I think that's very similar to Galley. We also have what's very unique, especially to CCBS and Bionicle at all, a weapon storage system, posable one at that. His golden fire swords can turn into what seems to be decorative wings. That adds a whole new level of posing and articulation. It's really great. Back armor seems to be solid. It's a very solid look right here. It's very compact, very flush. It looks great, so far at least. Now, as we can see here, it connects 
to be at the lowest point so that the ball joints are in line. I said that Pohatu was the only one that did that in the prior review. Obviously, that is wrong. Tahu also does that. And possibly a lot of the others do too. So, whoops. Let's keep building. Just gonna point out a little flub I made there. I forgot to add these friction joints. Thought he was tall enough? Nope. Must make him taller. Okay. Now, as per usual, we have the head here with the blue eyes. I'll again mention it works very well. So you turn it down, and this will start sticking up like a brain just popping out of its skull. But other than that, it works very nicely. The balance is actually surprisingly great. So, very happy with that. Oh goodness, they stat they snap together and stay together on their own. Well, Lee Khan, these have got you beat. And there we have Tahu, the master of fire. The build took approximately if you're just casually building, it took approximately 8 minutes, not counting any of the talk time. So, you could probably do it faster than that if you're really rushing, or if you really want to be a speed demon about things. But, it'll be about 6 to 8 minutes, roughly. But that is Tahu. What did you think of the build, and what you did see? Did you enjoy it? Do you have Tahu, and did you enjoy his build? If you want to see how the build holds up in a review, go ahead and click right there on the Master of Fire himself. Yep, Skulls and the Spiders snatch it away. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything I missed or messed up on, please let me know in the comments below or on the TTV message boards. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in another video. Farewell.